So just the other day, we made a video about Juggernaut and everything that Juggernaut can block in its base form. Things like supers, abilities, melees and grenades. And if you want a comprehensive breakdown of Jug Shield, feel free to check that out. Today though, is our Titan build that's gonna be taking advantage of Juggernaut Shield to the max. And fellas, I'm talking a combination of not only Juggernaut Shield, but Jug Shield and certain exotics, most notably things like Entaeus Wards, which actually provides a shield when sliding, and MK44 Stanisites, which by the way, is kinda busted. So prepare yourselves, because the inside of Crucible is about to change after today's video. First up, Juggernaut is an aspect found on the Titan class, where essentially all you have to do is run in a straight line. That's it, man. With full class ability energy, after you sprint for a short time, you gain this frontal shield that blocks incoming damage, and when that frontal shield breaks, your class ability energy is depleted. Now, while you're amplified, the shield blocks significantly more damage before breaking. Now, amplification is pretty nice, especially if you're trying to close the gap. It also offers an extra 50% more damage resist, which yes, does stack with everything we're gonna be going over today. One of the easiest ways to become amplified is by taking advantage of the aspect knockout, which states that while critically wounding a target or breaking their shield, this infuses your melee attack with arc energy and increases your melee range and damage for a short time. And defeating targets with melee attacks starts health regeneration and makes you amplified. So essentially guys, every single melee kill that we're getting, we're becoming amplified. And by the way, knockout, even for your base range is really good. We're talking base melee range on Titans is around five meters. Knockout melee range is seven meters. Not only that, the increase in damage is also very impressive. Base melee damage is 100. This actually goes up to 160 when knockout is procced and seismic strike melee damage is 151, and that goes up to 189 with knockout. Now the goal of this build is simply to just run in a straight line with a shotgun and create a juggernaut shield. This will soak any incoming damage. Granted, it only has about 50 health, but when we combine it with certain exotics, this is strengthened even more. Now the first exotic I wanted to try this with was of course Antaeus Wards, which comes with reflective fence. This improves your slide, and also sliding after sprinting for a short time will reflect incoming projection. House. I wanted to see if this would work in combination with Juggernaut, but it was kind of weird, man. Initiating a slide actually removes the Juggernaut shield, but once the slide begins, Antaeus shield would go up. But Titans have to start sprinting again pretty much immediately for Juggernaut shield to return, and it does not return immediately. I tried this over and over again, and there's just sometimes Antaeus Wars just bugs out. Like, I feel like sometimes you get double damage through the shield, it just doesn't block things correctly. And on top of that, the reflective vents, when you're reflecting gunfire or other supers, you just gotta get the timing just perfect in order to pull off those montage clips. And I really wanted Antaeus Wars to work. And I mean, at one time, it was like the strongest exotic on the Titan class, but of course it got nerfed amongst other things. However, this led us to start looking elsewhere. Maybe we were going about it all wrong. Maybe Dune Marchers, considering it not only increases our sprint speed, but it also discharges that static charge when our melee hit lands. Maybe that's the route we wanna go. Now, Ballistic Slam with Doom Marchers, it still works like it's always worked, and it's still very, very good for getting those multi-kills. Granted, it doesn't chain more than once, but it still has a crazy, and I mean crazy radius, on top of that, even after the person that you kill dies, if another enemy walks up close, Dune Marchers and that static charge would still activate and hit that target. It's pretty nutty. But in 1v1s, Doom Marchers is all right. I mean, yes, the movement is good here, but the point of this build, or at least the goal that we're looking for, is to literally charge down a Guardian and think of nothing. We wanna be the most unstoppable shotgun ape. Left and right don't exist in our language. Only four! The W key forever, which actually led me to try out Syntheseps. Maybe I just need to punch everything to death. Get that increase in damage, robotic enhancements, combined with knockouts. We could just sit there and hit people all day long. And don't get me wrong, Syntheseps is very, very nice, but not for a shoulder charge based build. It's good for its base melee damage, but for shoulder charge, it's pretty much always gonna be a kill anyways as long as you get a little bit of damage on the target with your shotgun. We're using shoulder charge as a means to close the gap. Again, shotgun range has been nerfed season over season for so very long. We're essentially trying to grant ourselves that level of range again, but instead of getting the final blow with our shotgun, we're trying to get it more with our melees, which of course would grant us amplification, thus giving us that speed boost, and on to the next target we go. Cyndiceps is fantastic for base melee. And in melee versus melee gunfights, a Synthesep Titan will drive you mad because we desync like crazy. But even with Synthesep's, 
we still haven't reached peak ape. I'm talking mindlessness. I want to be able to play without thinking ever, which actually brought us to our final exotic, one of which has never been meta, but it is so nasty now. And that is actually the exotic MK44 Stanisites. Fellas, these Titan leg armor pieces grants the perk seriously watch out. Grants an overshield when you're sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike, or shield bash equipped and charged. Hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy. Now, this is actually pretty substantial. It slowly grants 75 HP in overshield over three seconds after sprinting for a half a second. Now, granted, the overshield disappears instantly when not sprinting. But a couple things that is beautiful about MK44 Stanisides, it recharges 50% of your melee ability on shoulder charge hit, which is perfect for this build. Second, it stacks with Juggernaut Shield. MK44 Stanisides with Juggernaut Shield actually grants us 125 health. This essentially allows us, guys, to run in a straight line. We don't care what you're hitting us with. We simply want to tickle you with our shotgun and clean you up with our melee, get 50% of our melee energy back, and then it's on to the next target while being amplified. And oh, yes, 50% more damage resist while being amplified. You see the trend we're going for? It's a continuous cycle. A beautiful one than that. And if you combine this with the likes of Monte Carlo to give your melee back, which by the way, Monte is still very, very good in PvP, don't sleep on it. You will be shoulder charging all day long with this build and you're able to do so safely. This to me is the most unstoppable Titan has ever been. And look, I've lived through one eye mass back in its prime when Striker Titan used to be able to last for like a minute and a half. We've seen some crazy metas and don't get me wrong. Those were nasty. The reason why this one is nasty is because all you have to do is just run forward, squeeze a shotgun shot off and immediately shoulder charge afterwards. And again, you want to do so in a way in which you're sliding as you're shotgunning and then meleeing. So it's like A, somewhat evasive, and B, you're able to do so in a sequence that allows for that overshield and jug shield to stay up, blocking all incoming damage. 125 more health, guys, means that a guardian has to kill you almost two times over. And while amplified, they actually do have to kill you two times over with that extra 50% more damage resist. Which is why for this particular build, you do want to be rocking higher resilience, A, to tank more, and B, so you get your class ability energy back as quickly as possible because Jug Shield requires class ability energy. Now to mitigate this issue, you have the fragment Spark of Focus, where after sprinting for a short time, your class ability regeneration is increased. You can literally see our class ability energy going up as we are sprinting. We also have Spark of Feedback, which states that taking melee damage briefly increases our outgoing melee damage. So for those instances where you do end up in a melee versus melee fight, Spark of Feedback would knock out. Disgusting. And for those times where you have to actually use your weapon to get a kill, I was taking advantage of Found Verdict simply because it is an arc weapon. And Spark of Beacon states that while you are amplified, your arc special weapon final blows create blinding explosions. So not only are you running around meleeing the piss out of everybody and being an unstoppable tank, but you're also blinding them, which is extra scary. I do suggest in this situation though, having another shotgun, most notably one that does arc damage and is a lightweight shotgun. You don't need a heavy hitter shotgun for this. Xeno class is actually a really good one for this build. I just don't have a good PvP role, unfortunately. So to really tie this unstoppable build completely together, here are a few things you're gonna wanna rock. On your helmets, you definitely wanna be taking advantage of hands-on. Matter of fact, if you can rock double hands-on, this is even better. Again, more melee kills equals more supers. And considering you're gonna be doing that a bunch with this build, that's no problem. You're also gonna wanna have max resilience and max strength, or close to it, as you're gonna be taking advantage of both of these. Resilience for your class ability regeneration, which means more jug shields, strength for that follow-up shoulder charge to then become amplified. And last but not least, you want to take advantage of Amped Up. This is a class item mod. It only costs one, but it allows you to stay amplified longer. Guys, once you get amplified, and I know it kind of messes up your jump a little bit because you can like jump higher and other things, it really does allow you to close the gap stupid easy. And it catches a lot of guardians by surprise. So if you can get used to it, it will help you greatly. And if you're rocking a shotgun, which I do suggest you do, Quick Charge is a fantastic mod here as it greatly increases the ready speed speed for fusion rifles, shotguns, submachine guns, and swords. And that's pretty much your build, fellas. You literally just want to lay on the W key or on your joystick, run straight toward the enemy. Three seconds go by, you have MK44 Stanisides fully amped with that overshield, and you get your jug shield with that increase in 50 HP, and you're going to be tanking massive amounts of damage, thus resulting in you getting pretty much the guaranteed kill. So good luck, fellas. Have fun. Trials of Osiris is coming up this weekend, and it's going to be a fantastic time to try this build out. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching, and 
and as always. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.